Welcome to the Akasha Yoga Practice. My name is Kirsten and I'll take you through a 20 minutes yin yoga class for inner alignment and centeredness. So this is a practice that really lands you within in your heart and physically works on opening the hips and the chest and frees up the spine. For this practice, we will need a bolster or a bigger pillow and a flat pillow or a blanket. And in case you are struggling with your knees, um, two blocks are recommendable. This is yin yoga, so we typically hold the shapes for a prolonged time in a relaxed way, which produces sensation as we open and stretch the tissues of the body. So you will need sensations, but important to stay away from pain. Pain is sharp, short, localized burning sensations in your body. If you perceive that, back up, go a little less deep from where you're at and come to a place where you comfortably can meet the sketch. All right, let's get started. Let's come seated on the yoga mat in whichever way you feel comfortable. And we'll start by just internalizing for a moment. So find your comfortable seat. You want to be able to keep your back nice and straight and to lengthen the top of your head towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, close your eyes and drop your shoulders down and away from your ears. Find a comfortable place for your hands to rest in your lap on your thighs. And just take a moment to really arrive within. Take a moment to leave the day behind. A moment to just be here. As you are, as body, as mind movement, as emotions, as sensations, just acknowledging for a moment with what you're here. Letting go of all of this and drop into your breath. Feel your breath moving through your body, expanding the lungs, the belly, relaxing the belly, the shoulders. Just be with this gentle movement of the breath. Just breath. arriving. If you feel to set an intention for your practice, now is the moment to do so. Coming back to breath. Taking a deeper breath to open the chest, to expand the lungs. Exhale, slide the shoulders, relax the shoulders once more deeply and open your eyes. Ready for practice. So we'll be starting with the first shape, that's butterfly. Butterfly is a beautiful shape to open into our hips. So it's really beautiful to support your hips a little, to come sit a little higher. That helps you to tip your hips forward. Bring the soles of your feet together. And that can be far away from your pelvis or a little closer. See where you feel comfortable and able to lightly tip your hips forward. If that doesn't feel right in your knees, if that is um, paining your knees, just use your blocks. Um, to support your knees here. 
So this is yin yoga. Here it is all about softening into our posture. We'll be starting with the back straight. And from here, walking step by step, your hands forward until your body naturally stops. So we don't reach as deep as we can. Also, don't use your hand to pull yourself deeper. So yin yoga is to really work into the deeper tissues of the body and to talk to them, to talk to your fascia, to talk to your connective tissues, to talk to your joints. It is important that there is no extra stress other than gravity. So just come into butterfly as deep as it feels comfortable. Make your last adjustments here now. If you have like this urge to pull yourself deeper into the posture, just turn your palms upward to remove this urge and this possibility. Here we are softening now into the body. Coming in starts with a deep relaxation of the entire body. Check in with your facial expression. Allow the eyes to close softly, the eyebrows to relax, the forehead to soften, the jaw to relax, the neck to relax. So allow your head to drop, hang loose. If this is very uncomfortable in your neck, if you're working with a fragile neck, you can use your block or your bolster to support your forehead in order to take away that stress from your neck. Allow your shoulders to soften, your arms to soften, your hands to soften. Belly is relaxed, soft, as well as the back, the hips, and the legs. This is a posture that gently opens into the hips, particularly the inner sides. And a posture that opens the back line stretches the entire backside of the body. So we are here, soft, open, still. This posture invites to really turn inwards, arrive in your body, arrive in this moment, a posture that invites to center, bring your attention to your breath, just be with your natural breath, feel how your natural breath moves in the field of your body. Follow along the inhalation and the sense of stretch and inner expansion. Follow your exhalation, this softening, dropping deeper, letting go, being here. Stay here for three more natural breath to deepen into butterfly, to deepen into this pose, into the moment. Now 
after your third breath, turn your palms towards the floor and gently walk yourself back into upright. Move slowly, so slowly to really be mindful and aware of each movement of the body. Coming back into upright and straight, bring your knees together and stretch out your legs for a moment. You can support yourself on your hands behind you. Open the chest and close your eyes once more. Come back into stillness. Integrating the stretch into the tissues of the body and marinating in the stillness and centeredness that is opening through yin yoga practice. We will set up for the second posture, which opens deeper into the hips. The posture is open hard for that. We we'll need the bolster or a bigger pillow that you have. And potentially, in case you're working with knees that are a little achy, have your blocks around. So for open hard, we will come back into our butterfly feet and legs. And from there, simply recline on our bolster bringing the hearts over hands over our heart and open sideways if this is uncomfortable in your knees support your knees on your blocks as before so let's get ready to enter into open heart so the soles of the feet meet the knees move out sideways we're sitting in front of that bolster and reclining just over the bolster bringing the palms of the hands together elongating the arms right above the heart and from there slowly mindfully spread your arms open your arms allow both arms to touch to the ground the palms face up Making your last adjustments, you might want to bring your hands a little bit higher or lower. So you want to feel a gentle stretch across the front side of the body and in the front of your shoulders. Be aware that you're staying away from tingling sensation and numbness. If this is occurring, take your arms a little bit more in towards your legs. Check in with your knees. Are they comfortable? If not, support them with blocks and relax back into a stillness. Allowing the shape and gravity to open the body over time. So once more, deeply relaxing. The postures only work when the body is completely soft and open, when the muscular structure is disengaged. So allow your thighs, your hips, your legs to soften. Allow your lower back to soften, your belly and your chest to completely soften, your shoulders to relax, your head and face to deeply relax. The eyebrows, the eyeballs to relax. The jaw to relax. Jaw and hips are typical places in the body that we hold tension, that we store emotions. So allowing these places particularly to soften and to let go of clenching and holding is essential to open the body and to open and free ourselves emotionally. Let your body and your whole being to marinate in this moment. back into your breath, into your natural breath. 
merging with your breath, being one with your breath. As the body relaxes and opens, the breath slows down, the mind slows down. And that really allows us to rest back into the naturalness of our being. It is this place that we call centeredness that we call inner alignment. This place where you're naturally present, where you're open, where you're expansive, where you're free, where your heart starts radiating and shine. Three more breaths in open heart. And after your third breath, draw your hands in towards your hips and support your thighs, your outer thighs with your hands and guide your knees with support back to center. And drop your knees, both of them, down towards one side and roll off your bolster. Stay here just for a moment. Allowing the stretch to integrate into the hips, into the spine, into the shoulders. And without much movement, pushing the bolster off your yoga mat and roll back on your back onto the yoga mat. So you want to lie flat on your back. For the next posture, we'll just come into a twist. For the twist, you might want to work with your bolster. So have that around and be prepared and ready for that. We will be taking one knee into our chest. Pull that knee into your chest while keeping the other leg straight on the floor. And we'll take this knee now across the body to the opposite side onto the floor. The other leg stays still straight. Check how that feels in your body. If that's uncomfortable in your knee, you can use your bolster to rest your leg on. The arms come out to the side and turn your head away from your knee. If you work with a bolster and it feels actually you want to deepen your stretch, just push the bolster out of the way and see if you can practice without that bolster while keeping your knee happy. We are here in a twist, a twist to wind down the practice, a twist to bring equilibrium to the nervous system. And this balancing out of the nervous system helps us deeper to come into our centeredness, into our inner alignment. The body is completely soft, relaxed. Dropping back into this openness and heart-centeredness of the previous posture. Coming in.
to stay for three last breaths. With your next inhale, bring your hips back centered onto the yoga mat. Take your knee back into your chest. Potentially take your second knee into your chest as well and stay here for a moment, hugging both legs into the chest. Coming back to stillness. Straightening now that previously bent knee and taking now this other knee nice and close, snug into the chest and put it across the body to the opposite side onto the mat. Check if you would like to work here with your bolster to rest your knee and your shin and your foot on just in front of your leg or if you want to drop your leg your shin and knee onto the floor don't worry if you're not touching the floor yet the posture usually allows for a greater opening and gradually you deepen the twist and gradually gravity brings both the shoulder blade and the knee towards the floor closer and closer. The head turns away from the knee. We're coming back into our centeredness. Into our availability, into our presence. into our softness. Into the natural breath. We'll stay for three last breaths. after your third breath and an inhale gently roll your hips back onto the yoga mat take both knees into the chest for a last hug and from here extend both of your legs come into a final resting shape into shavasana both palms are turned up towards the sky with a bit of space in between hands and body. Both feet are completely relaxed, rolling naturally out to the side. The eyes are still closed. One last deep relaxation, deep softening of the entire body, the toes, the feet the lower legs, the upper legs, the hips, the groin, softening the belly, the lower back, the middle back and the upper back, softening the chest, the shoulders, softening the upper arms, the forearms, the hands, the fingers, softening the neck and throat, and the entire head and face. Resting back into the space of centeredness and alignment.
this completes our practice today. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll hope to meet you soon on the mat again for our next practice. If you feel to stay a little longer in Shavasana, you're welcome to do so. Namaste.